Generic greetings and welcome back once again to Prison Architect and indeed a new series, sort of, today's beverages. A very nice botanically brewed dandelion and bird dock, very very tasty indeed. So welcome back to Prison Architect and in the previous series we were building the Lockdown Town facility which was a town inspired prison with things like house cells and apartment cells. We had a lot of other real life inspiration going on, things like laundrettes and gyms and prisons within a prison which was the police station. We had uh, like shopping centres and post office and laundrettes and cinemas all of that sort of thing and overall it was a fairly fun creative experience so have enjoyed the series and hope you have too went a bit wrong towards the latter couple of episodes for various reasons but we're not going to dwell on it and instead we're going to focus on the new ish series in a previous series we spent 10 episodes building a facility that ultimately ended up in failure and the failure state was criminal negligence too many people died in the facility and we were incarcerated in said facility ourselves as the uh, as the warden and that was a 100% legendary and gangs facility we're going to attempt it again with the benefit of experience and actually a couple of extra helping hands because of patches since then so let's go ahead and get this thing started episode one of the series as always is just creating it setting out our stall in terms of what we want to accomplish with the series and doing some planning which isn't set in stone but it just gives us a brief foundation so over to create new prison we're going to go default prison agenda uniform picker and color warden previously we went with alexis lynn believes in technology and 60 percent slow suppression fade rate instigators do not increase the chance of nearby inmates causing trouble probably not going to be a problem uh, hoping the design goes well anyway more on that later and reduce misbehavior frequency of extremely volatile prisoners by 50 percent still a good choice but i think we're going to go with the pacifier reduces overall temperature making inmates less likely to cause trouble still don't think it's going to do anything but at least an attempt has to be made there guard doggo we're going to go with all dogs choosing this option will enable all dogs available and randomize each hire in terms of the world size, we've previously done a mega prison, which was a huge map. We then did the town, which started off as a quite small one and then expanded to something that was massive. So we are definitely scaling this one down to small. Funds are just going to jump up to 50 grand just to give us a little bit of an extra helping hand. I'm tempted to go further because especially at the start of the series for the last legendary, that was a big issue. Because although you're bringing in legendary prisoners, you don't get paid legendary money. Uh, plot type is default. I'll touch on that later. Definitely, weather and intensity is off. We're not going to bother with that one. Gangs, yes, but it's a DLC setting. Dynamic reputations, we could enable. But we know that anybody that turns up has got all of that extremely volatile, extremely tough, extremely strong. We've all got those traits, so they can't really learn much off each other. So we're going to turn that off. Uh, no fog of war just for visibility's sake for yourself. Fairly conditions are definitely going to be on. We are going to generate forests. We are going to have events. We are going to have... No, we're not going to have temperature or staff needs. We've done that in the previous series. It's all about the legendary prisoners. Escape plans will be on. And I think that is that for now. Over to the DLC settings. We don't want tropical fever. We don't want the undead. I will put on prisoner aging because why not? Medium level for the gangs with the special gang reputations. Obviously we can alter this gang setting and the lieutenants as the challenge requires. Weather and intensity is off and rat infest infestation is off. Island Bound. Now this is an interesting one. So I was originally going to go with a small map or even a medium one with a island plot thinking well that's going to give us extra security but is it? All of the people that turn up are going to be able to swim very well so jumping over a fence and going through a little bit of cold water ain't going to bother them. Well you might think oh well in that case you can you're an, you're an island plot you can have a helicopter and call in special forces. You can do that on a default plot, you just place a helipad. Oh, well, well, what about um, the the cliff edges? You can do that on a default plot. So I think we're just going to stick with uh, the default plot because I don't really want the water to reduce the amount of land that we have. We've already got a limited num amount of space anyway. So yeah, that's why I, I just want to cover it. I just want to spend a little bit of time covering why I'm not going my island. I'm not saying you can't do, and it would be probably a bit more interesting. But for the sake of space, we're not going to have it on. Uh, dynamic rotations, no. Land expansion, no. Doesn't mean we can't expand. Um, 
it just means we don't get it expanded in the first instance when we load in. No criminal insane and no transfers. Mutators, this is where we really need to start going through some settings here. The big house, that is the big one. And yes, all prisons are legendary. Good luck. We're going to need it. Super guards, that's what we had on in the last series and it didn't really help. <laughs> Rather, actually it did help, it just uh, didn't stop the failure. So your guards are the cream of the crop and they don't screw around. They're bigger, stronger, faster and more observant. Uh, all reputations revealed. We know they're going to be legendary prisoners, we know they're going to have all the traits, we might as well be able to see them for, you know, a bit of eye candy. Super dogs, this is new, we didn't have this when we did the last series. Super dogs, men, man's best friend just got turned up to 11, they're bigger, stronger, faster and less likely to need a nap. Also, they're probably going to rip someone's head off if their handler gets taken out. We can turn on no violent prisoners if we really want to make it easy. Uh, <laughs> fast delivery spectral staff, we don't need really any of this. And... I think that's about it. Gang warfare. Only gang members will arrive in your prison. No effective gangs are disabled. Um. Yeah, why not? We'll turn that on as well. So it's all gonna be. It's always gangs and it's always legendary. Fun. And I think that is gonna be about it. Yes. Okay. So I think I've set it up how I wanted it. I'm very tempted to knock the money up because the challenge in this series isn't the money. It's the prisoners, but at the same time, would just 100,000 generic units of currency make it too easy? Let's stick it at 50 and we'll load it there. So the game's been not really great when it comes to giving us some trees to dismantle. It did that in the last uh, series as well. So this is episode one of the series, so if you've not seen them before, then basically it's all about planning. So for planning, how do we want to do this? Well... I want to have a wall around the outside, and it's going to be, uh, I think it's going to be a three distance, because I plan on having in like guard towers, like here and here and here, I have, and we want a space where we can walk around, so it's going to be three, apart from on the left, which is going to be, well, not three for various reasons. Over to uh, the intake, and we're going to turn on the intake for all of the prisoners, and uh, then we'll close it. So there we go. Actually, we're going to turn off Minsec because we want the highest one possible. In the previous, well, in in the normal operation of the game, you get 15 grand for turn for taking in a legendary prisoner. But if a Minsec prisoner turns up, it's only three uh, 300. But we still know they're going to be legendary. So there you are. Okay, so what we did in the previous series is something like this. We had like a big block... I think it's like two or maybe three or four blocks there. And each one of these had basically cells like that. And that meant that these were legendary cells, quite large and not really kitted out very well. But the inmates still interacted with one another. I want to avoid that entirely. And that means self-contained units where we have a cell and a canteen, which is the, the bare minimum you need for them not to go out from that. We will still have communal buildings that they need to go to, so things like parole, we may have parole, uh, infirmary will need to do that, but they won't have a shared yard, they won't have a shared canteen, they won't have a... you get the idea, hopefully. So, this is the rough idea of what I'm trying to accomplish, we're going to have this run along, and I do think contraband could be a problem, but let's just see. So what I'm going to do is just go to the middle and I'm going to design basically one of these blocks. And once they're done, we can just place it somewhere and then we go clone, 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 go from there. So the block is going to be a internal of five by five. So it's something like that. And the idea is that this is their cell. So their cell is here. We then need to attach to that a couple of things. So in terms of rooms, what do we need? Well, this is going to be their cell. We don't need a shower, because it can go in there. Yard, we don't technically need, but I will be placing a yard, minimum size 5x5. Five five. We don't need a kitchen, and we don't need a common room. Common rooms are a strange thing, in that, basically, unless you're running a couple of programs that require it, you basically don't need them. It says allowing your prisoners some free time to relax. But they can do that in the canteen or in the yard or in their own cells. We can put anything that goes into a common room in one of those three other buildings. So it's fine. Visitation, don't need it. Exports, nothing to do with the prisoners. Chapel, don't need it. I mean, it's nice to have, but we could just place a prayer mat in. Parole, potentially. So I'm just going through and there's not much in here. Uh, infirmary, yes, we know I'm not going to have an infirmary here or a cleaning cupboard, laundry. 
all that staff only. Armory, yes, but not here. Library, not going to have it. Uh, gym, not going to have it. Train room, no. Bakery, no, 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 none of that. Cinemas, no, no. So basically, what I'm hearing is I need only a canteen and a... A canteen and a cell. So we could do that. There's the way into the canteen, into the canteen, then there. So why am I not going to do that? Because it occurred to me we have another issue. Prisoners are in here. They fight. They then have to be escorted to solitary elsewhere. Or you don't have solitary, which means punishment gra gra uh, grading is going to be poor. Well, what if we put it in, in board? There's the entrance into this block. This is solitary. This is their cell. It then goes outside to yard, which is going to be minimum size 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. And then canteen, 1, 2, 3, 4. Why canteen? Because canteens can be outside. Why would I want them outside? Because if they're outside, the sniper towers can see into them. Less, less chance of them actually misbehaving. The problem with this is the orientation. If I was to place it this way, stuff can be thrown in. If I was to rotate it around, not so much. So would that help? I don't know. The fun's in finding out. So this is something what, uh, something what I'm aiming for, really. Uh, yard, let me just do yard. And then uh, that's minimum size of five by five, and yes. And then the canteen, to be fair, Oh, actually, we might look out here, because the canteen, serving table can go there, and then a small table there, and then just behind it, we'll have the bench, or a small bench, and then we can have stuff on the other side. We can actually make this a little bit shorter if we need to, but I'm not going to beat myself up over that. <laughs> okay, so that is a 19 by 7, is it? Yes, it is. So we're going to have, from here, we'll have a gap of, I don't know. One? Don't need which one that. Uh, oh no, we won't. We'll have a gap of two. Because then I can use the line tiles. <laughs> I don't have a problem. You have a problem. Um, let's go to that. And uh, we'll just measure that again. So it's 19 by 7. Yes. I think that is correct. I'm going to redraw it. So uh, the problem with having it this way, though, is that... Tunneling is easier for them. What's more of a problem? Tunneling or contraband? They're all gangs, so tunneling is not really a thing. This is the best way. Okay, so entrance, it'll be like that. And I'll place in the fences, like this. And I think we'll put the doors in as well. And we can have a metal detector there if need be. Don't think we need it. So yes, that is what we're going to have. Yard. And a canteen. Is this a good idea? I don't know. But it's what we're going to go with. So, over to rooms, exports. And we're going to put exports on the other side. Just going to do that. Garbage. Can also go on the other side. And deliveries. Same thing again. And finally, uh, mm, storage. Just so they move it away from where it currently is. And that's now gone. Okay, so that is. Let's remove that and move that. That is what we're going to build. So let's just. Let's just build it. I'm going to have a gap of two, and it was a 19 by 7. And they're going to go all the way across here. And the idea is that they never interact with one another. They are still close, but they never interact with one another. Whether or not this actually works is, well, as I said, the fun's in finding out, isn't it? 19 by 7. We can't really fit that in in this current build. Can we not? Let me see. Uh, we might be able to, it would be that, but I think that's a bit too short for what I was aiming for. And what was I aiming for? I was aiming to build 
a lot of solar and a lot of wind down this one bit. Okay, what I'm going to do then is I'm going to remove that. I'm going to bring this down here. And we've got a lot of space for wind solar and all of the staff only areas. Yes? I mean, to be fair, this whole thing will be staff only. <laughs> like, this thing here, we could literally seal this off and have th this will be staff only, these areas here, and um, whatever's in the middle staff only. But I don't think we are going to do that. Let me just go back through and um, now the question is, do I want to have these facing one another so you go down and in? Uh, two, four, six, seven. No, if it was a matching pair, then we would probably do that. Um, because it isn't, well, I'm not. So I'm just going to build it for sake of aesthetics. It won't take long to go through. And like that. And it actually makes sense it being on the left because that's where we have our staff only area. So doors, it's going to be all of the uh, side doors first. Just again for rotational purposes. And then these others here as well. And these will all be remote doors, by the way. Actually, we could go with the cyber ones, couldn't we? We could, if we really wanted to, go with the cyber ones. I don't know what they're actually called. The fu it's the Future Tech DLC. We could go with something like that. There you go. And Yard. So, 5x5. Five five. They all have to be 5x5. Five five. We could turn on the mutator to have the sizing removed, but it's fine. Canteen. So, as you might imagine, money is going to be a big issue. We're not getting 15 grand legendary money, we're getting whatever prisoner money. So this is 14 total, is what we've got. That's That's it. That seems really low, and that's because it is. Hmm. Do I change it? I think... I think maybe, maybe not. This is going to be removed anyway, because that's going to be... This is all staff only. As long as we're distance of 10 from the edge, that's fine. Then from there, to be honest, we could just do that. Uh, walls. Well, actually, it'd be fences, aren't there? Along there. And do that. Then it's still a distance of 10 across the way. Because this is all staff only. We could do that. And shift these across and get another one in. Yes, we could. One moment, I'm just going to do that. Okay, so that took me longer than I care to admit. So what I've managed to do is basically do all of the top cells and then done basically the same down the bottom. We now have a total of, I think it's 16 cells with obviously all this space in the middle. We've lost a bit of space on the left-hand side, but that's not too much of a problem. What I anticipate doing is having in the fencing going along like so. Hang on, uh, fencing there and fencing in here. And then basically all of this can be set like so, and this is going to be the staff only area. So we want in the uh, the, the generation, the, the power generation stuff on the left, and then we're going to have in things around here. So we not going to have visitors, so we don't really need receptions and things like that, but we're still going to have a block for a lot of that. So this is going to be a wall like, uh, so, oh hang on, like so. This is going to be three buildings. Like I said, I don't anticipate having in any uh, visitors, but I'm going to make provision for it just in case. So we can have a visitor reception and, uh, what is it? It's a, it's a visitor reception and the standard reception. Another side can just be like storage or something. We then need an area where it comes, say, through. 
and we'll have it uh, as just basically just have a little bit of a uh, a gap around here just because it, aesthetically it's uh, quite pleasing and then we're going to have in a quite decently sized kitchen i think we'll have a kitchen in like so actually we could probably have that as storage what's the internal of that one that's 11 and that's oh, that's 10 you know what let's just sort of make this let's just copy that so we'll have 10 and then once again it comes along and i like the idea of these like in individual sections they'll probably have little doors on the on the sides and um, so this is going to be like the visitor sort of stuff we're going to have storage here we then need a more of a central, I think, maybe. Uh, you know what? I don't actually need that, do I? Uh, storage there, and then the visitor stuff there. That's actually fine. And then sort of centralised, we want in the the kitchen. So in the middle is basically here, isn't it? This, this is the middle, like that. That is obviously far too big for a kitchen, but I'm just going to say, look, that's the kitchen. That's laundry, whatever it needs to be. I'm just earmarking the places for just things like this building will become whatever it needs to become um i also didn't really measure the middle and i've just realized that that's wrong as well uh don't think we need to measure the middle because we know for a fact that that is indeed the middle so i'll go from that it's going to be what's that 39 and then from there uh hang on there's a there is a middle uh the middle is that i think so 39 and 39 yes so actually uh, it should be something like that shouldn't it so yeah seven and seven okay so we've got that that these like say for whatever we need them to be um we're gonna have the sort of kitchen and laundry over here we'll have separate buildings around here i haven't even decided exactly what they're going to be because i don't know what we're going to have the main takeaway was to have these cells with the yards and the solitary and the canteens all individual what's probably going to happen is that they're going to be assigned a solitary and the person in this cell will then be assigned to this person's solitary <laughs> inevitably that's what's going to happen but we can do again loads of these separate buildings in the middle they can be whatever they need to be we haven't got a place for admin um i just noticed that actually so we will probably have probably just let's let's not waste the space there and we'll just have it as a big cube and this can be where we can have our offices because we do need offices and we can just run them like so and like so and that is a 4x4 four four internal. Oh, there you go. It actually fits very nicely, doesn't it? And we'll have 4x4, four 4x4, four, four 4x four, four whatever. And then there's a bit of space, which I don't know. I can I can even just remove that and have it as a 4x4. Four four. This isn't, like I say, the main, uh, the main problem when it comes to the... Uh, the designs. Uh, we need a staff room. Even though we haven't got staff needs on, you do still need a staff room. And, well... Yeah, we've got lots of options for this. I think we'll have a entrance down the bottom. Is this an odd number? It's not, so we can be that and that. And the entrance to these, I'm probably going to have maybe there and there. Um, so they have to go around the outside. Oh, maybe we could have it in the middle. So one, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Yeah, you know what? We'll do that. And then it means that there's really good access in here. We will probably put in, well, we'll definitely put in doors. So the doors are going to go like that and like that and like that. Yeah, that's fine. Um, obviously, doors on the front there. We'll have doors in here. I can't place these doors <laughs> at all at this stage. But these are going to be like our offices. We can have, this is the kitchen, whatever these buildings need to be. And then all of this is going to be... Um, that's going to be the, well, where we're going to generate a lot of money. And that's the first thing pretty much we're going to do in next episode where the, where we start building. We're going to put in the solar panels. We're going to put in the wind system and then wind solar hybrids. And we're just going to pretty much spend all of our money doing that so we can start exporting money as soon as, exporting power to make money as soon as possible. Um, I think then, without any... Obviously, there's definitely some changes to be made because I've just said, oh, yes, these buildings here, they're going to be whatever they need to be. What do we actually need? Need, need, need. Well, we need a kitchen, so it's probably going to be the one in the middle. And I know that's going to annoy people because it's annoying me. Um, but let's do let's do that, shall we? That's a, that's a bit better. Um, there we go. So, yes, we need a kitchen, which could be this middle one. We need a... We don't need mail. We do need a... 
a laundry, which again, any of these buildings can be a laundry. We need a staff room. We need a security area. This could probably be security. So we need armories. We need doggos. We need uh, the security for CCTV, even though we've got full visibility. We want the alerts. We are probably not going to run tracking belts. Uh, we need an infirmary. We haven't got an infirmary. So some of these ones. I do think this is pretty much not... I don't think it's necessary. We need a... You, you need a reception. Yeah, where your prisoners are first taken when they arrive. Visitors. Visitors check in, potentially search to make sure they're no longer... Uh, present. was it? Uh, pose no danger to the prison via contraband or their health. We don't need that, I guess, do we? We really don't. So I can I can repurpose this building for at the front for something else. So even if we have like a quite small, maybe, reception like that, maybe small visitor reception, the rest of this could be staff room or something. But... I don't want to make too much because obviously the whole point is uh, that we make some changes. There'll be several days before, well, mm, no, there'll be a couple of days before, by the time this goes live to actually building. So by all means, leave any comments in the comments. That is the proposed solution for our legendary inmate problem. It's different than the previous one in the sense that it should be more secure. We're going to have more remote access. Prisoners won't be interacting with either each other nor our staff. We've got good visibility in here, so we can have a sniper tower there, sniper tower here, and they'll be able to look over. We may even put one in the middle to look right across because they'll probably spend most of the time in the canteen or yard, and if not, they'll be here. Uh, we're going to have remote doors. We're going to have lots of security in terms of reform pretty much none they don't leave these areas unless they absolutely have to which is mainly as far as i can tell for infirmary access but we're going to leave it there for now that's been a bit of pretty as an architect and that's what i'm going to go with for this legendary yeah legendary gangoni facility i i um <laughs> i was going to say i'm not looking forward to it that is not true i'm very much looking forward to it i'm just not confident in what potentially is going to go down <laughs> We'll see. If nothing else, it should be eventful, and the build is different. So even if we decide that this is a really good build, let's run with it again, not legendary. I don't know. We'll see. Either way, as always, hope you have enjoyed this little build, and comments in the comments. Thanks very much for watching. Take care, and generic partings.